Would you, if you were stuck in the uh, wilderness? Uh huh. When I'm stuck yeah. in the wilderness, yeah, it's happened a few times. No, when I am. Yeah. Do you um? Would you eat a berry, or would you be worried? Because like, remember the dude from Into the Wild ate the wrong berry, died. Right. Would you? At what point would you risk risk it, or do you think you can tell to some degree? I would. I'd try to catch another, like watch another animal uh, eat. I'd probably eat the berry too soon. I'd I'd watch the animal eat it. Can't then, they be like immune to it and not us? Yeah, that's the problem. I'll I'll watch them eat it and I'm like that deer seems okay. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, bitterly tart. <laughs> And I'm just chewing. I look over Can the you deer. get mange this fast? <laughs> the, deer's, the deer's eating poison oak. And I'm like, well, that's not convincing. <laughs> Lift off. The clock has started. Hey, Hezbos. Welcome to Hesby Street. Please come see me live. I'll be at uh, the Philadelphia Punchline this Sunday, the 16th. I'll be at the DC Comedy Loft in Washington, DC. That is April 19th. That's a Wednesday, so you have to bring friends. I need people to come. Uh, And then May 2nd, Zach and I will be headlining the San Francisco Punchline. I'll also be headed to uh, Minneapolis, Toronto, Boston, Rochester, New York, and maybe some others. Check out the website, hesbystreetpod.com. Any shows you want to push? I have a great show. It's every single week. Every Wednesday. No, this one's every Friday. It's called patreon.com slash Hesby Street. Oh, I love that show. Can I get booked on it? Uh, the bookers are weird. Yeah. But keep submitting. Okay. I send you the general email, right? Yeah, you sent me the info at, at Hesby Hes- Street. Patreon. Patreon.com Com slash Hesby Street. Street. Yeah. Just keep emailing. Okay. They're bad at checking. Got it. Uh, they do not like you. <laughs> but fine, full disclosure, they don't like you. But it's going to be fun. Uh, every time you, you go on Patreon, you can send money, I think. That's how it works. Okay. So just keep doing that, and then you can go check out these episodes you get every week that other regular people can't hear or see. Oh, we have a new ones to... Do we thank them on this episode new or the patrons. other ones? I think we thank them on this one. Boris, Cassandra, Paul. Yeah. Hmm? You want your name said? Well, Dude. sign up for the Patreon and hope we remember. We could be saying your name right now. We could be. All you got to do, go to patreon.com slash Uh Yeah, every Wednesday I'm in uh, Culver City at Citizen Public Market. And uh, um, Friday, the Up Next show at the Comedy Store, 10.30 p.m. Always a good time. Go check us out. Check out our squad. That's also my half birthday this Friday. So. This Friday? Mm-hmm. What a perfect double whammy of a mm-hmm. celebration we'd have i won't be there you won't be at the show and technically half birthdays aren't birthdays so it's kind well, of like a couple of ghosts but i mean <clears throat> well, it, is a birthday a birth you know what's a birthday whoa they're all just arbitrary dude dates. save this for the episode right, what is play a the music <laughs> is that everything that was everything. everything. It's, it has to be. I already played the music. Oh, you played it? Yeah. I didn't even hear it. I, I'm getting really fast at it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, man. Welcome back to Hesby Street. Thanks, man. It's good to be here at Hornsby Avenue. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Noah Finling, mm-hmm. he said he drove by actual Hesby Street. Yeah, people kinda, say that a few times. Kind of starstruck. <laughs> 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 Whoa, this is the place. <laughs> That's where it all went down. We got to change the name. We're giving too much. We're giving so much to the city of North Hollywood. We're bringing them so much industry. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. That so what should we change it to? Um, I was thinking... How about Bodie McBoatface? And no. here's why. They voted to name that boat Bodie McBoatface. Do you remember that whole thing? Yeah. They didn't. They didn't name it No, that? they ended up not naming it Bodie McBoatface. It doesn't why? feel fair to the name Bodie McBoatface. That's true. Probably the captain was like, I'm not doing this. I've worked. I've been a captain for 30 years. I'm not going to captain Bodie McBoatface. I was in a war. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also like, dems the rules, Cappy. Cap. First off, mental check. How are you? Oh, I had therapy today. How was that? I don't know, man. Here's the thing about therapy. And you're not going to get it either because you haven't even done therapy. No. So I do therapy. Maybe people can relate. I'm open-minded. Yeah. I want I want to 
I think mental health is a serious issue. It needs to be. But she just kind of goes, you know, she this is and this has happened before where they're just like, well, are you eating healthy? I'm like, you know, I mean, I could eat healthier, you know. Right. Are you sleeping okay? I'm like, well, I'm trying, you know, it's hard. Yeah. I'm trying to sleep better. My schedule lately hasn't helped it. Yeah. And then, uh, and then they're like, well, what about exercise? And I'm like, this is what my regular doctor said. This is what we yeah, all know. Right. I'm flawed. Make me better. <laughs> yeah. And I get it. Like, it's not the Hollywood, you know, you're not just going to stumble upon a, a revelation. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that happens years. Maybe you get lucky. Yeah. You know? But then... But then she goes, so she goes, so we, and I was like, you know, I was like, okay, so we'll work on that, right? And yeah. I'm like, yeah, we'll work on that. Yeah. I've been working on that for 36 years, <laughs> yeah. but sure. Yeah. I'll make you a promise. I'll, <laughs> I'll break too. <clears throat> and then she goes, what about like, you ever do deep breathing? I'm like, yep. She goes, and she was just like, she's like, oh, okay. Like she wasn't expecting that. Right. I'm like, yeah, got the call map, do it every day. And she's like, every day? It's impressive. I'm like, yeah. She's like, do you think it helps? And I'm like, not really, but I don't know. She's like, oh, okay. What about, uh, she goes, do you do like, uh, like gratitude? I'm like, yep. Every day before I write, I write down three things I'm grateful for. She goes, oh, and that doesn't help. And I'm like, no, I don't think any of it helps. Yeah. So it was kind of just, uh, I don't know how it was to answer your question. I'm still decompressing. Well, from that's the- funny. I feel like you're just going to one day snap and mm-hmm. get ripped sleep regularly uh-huh. and eat perfectly just to be like now what and you just have like a 12 pack <laughs> you're absolutely fucking shredded my macronutrients are perfect it's exactly 30 40 30 okay next i sleep eight when do hours. i feel good exactly <laughs> now what no alarm <laughs> I wake up at eight hours on the dot. <laughs> My teeth are whiter. I have a glow about me. I hate everything. It's not stopping. I can do handstands for 45 minutes now. Yeah. I do my breathing exercises while writing a gratitude letter uh-huh. while doing a handstand. Uh huh. Save me. <laughs> when does it feel good? <laughs> You're just in a human pretzel. You have like your feet behind your head. <laughs> I have to open my hips up right now. But then, so you, but so then you make fun of that. But then it's like if you, but you probably would feel a lot better. I know. That's the worst part about it. I know. Seems like a chill job they got. Yeah, they're just. They invite you in. They shit on your eating (laughs) habits. They shit on your sleeping habits. Mm -hmm. They plan on shitting on your breathing exercise (laughs) habits. So you shut that shit down. (laughs) They're about to fucking. All right, listen up, Linda. You want to go? Let's go. Oh, gratitude list? Let me see. It's like a <laughs> scroll you unveil. Yeah. Dated for the past 10 years. Yep. So, yeah. She said, do you try crystals? Of course. Yeah. I got crystals literally Did up the Did she actually ass. say you tried crystals? No, of course That'd be not. so funny. She said I should get a dog. Really? Yeah. She, well, she was like... Well, dude, therapists are wild. <laughs> I know. People recommend this? Yeah, just get a dog, <laughs> get a man. Dog. I was like, I don't think it's in my lease. I don't think I'm allowed to have a dog and my schedule's crazy. And she's like, check the lease. Just see. Maybe there's a way around it. And I'm like, you're just telling me to break it. I just like, next visit, I'm like, so I'm evicted. I'm homeless now. <laughs> right. Just me and this dog trying to find a place to live. She's like, you should play slam ball. <laughs> <laughs> It's like trampoline and basketball. Yeah, have you tried that? I mean, it's so sick. <laughs> so sick, dude. I had a therapist once say that. He was like, you try soccer? I do soccer on the weekends. You can come by. And he's like this super, I was like a kid. I was in high school. That, like, that dude, would be me. Yeah. I go, I'm going to pre- prescribe something special for you. I got it here. And I pull it out and it's that water game where you press the, <laughs> the rings onto the thing. I'm like, it'll frustrate the fuck out of you. It's going to break you down to your truest self. But then... <laughs> Just when you think you can't get those rings on that <laughs> spike so underwater. It came with the two rods and the silver ball. It slides <laughs> yeah. down. It's like, I can't get it to the last one. But if you get it even to the fourth one, you feel okay. Yeah. So I understand you're having suicidal thoughts. Have you tried ball and cup? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't. But then don't bring it up until you've tried ball and yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you regularly... Using sticky slap <laughs> elastic hand on windows, <laughs> or maybe trying to grab papers with it. Um, I'm not going to tell you to try this, but if you can, you tell me what the fuck's a Furby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
why don't you raise a Tamagotchi to full term? Yeah. And then come complain to me about how life sucks. Witness the beauty of life yeah. before you just shit on it. Well, so why did you ask about my mental health? I like to check in on my people. In. Physically, how are you? So tired. Yeah. Just so tired. Yeah. All the time. And then financially. Great. Are you? I'm doing good. We got that Bad Friends money. We did get bad things. Shout out to the Bad Friends podcast. Yes, Bobby right. Lee and Andrew Santino took care of us for a very special Christmas miracle on a little bit of a time delay. but it took four months, but we finally got... They did uh, two shows at the Comedy Store, and all the money went to us. Yep, to raise money for us. Pretty cool. <clears throat> and so I got, I got, we got an extra little... Uh, Boop, boop, boop. Bonus. Yeah. That I spent on a parking ticket, car registration, and my fast track fine. Damn. That's I not fun up fast. at all. I know. I went to a gun range. <laughs> Just shot? Just shot all day. I love that. And they kept saying, sir, we're closing soon. I said, I'll give you 500 more dollars. <laughs> and they said, okay. All right. 15 more minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Deal, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumbass. This is, we're going to be so bad when we're rich. I know. It's like... Uh, Don't let us be rich. Did, who's the athlete you just sent me? Trevor Ariza? Yeah. It's not like a $100 million contract. Doesn't have any of it he left. Has no money. That's Crazy sad. how that happens. It makes me feel better about just like losing money on stuff. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, at least I didn't lose $100 million. Yet. How are you doing financially and physically? Physically, Mental health. Health. physically bad. Financially, not terrible. Nice. Mentally, TBD. Which is the worst it gets for me. Oh, really? Yeah. I just don't know. You don't know how you feel? No, I mean, like, uh, I guess you want to accomplish things in life. You don't feel like you've accomplished? I don't. I do. You know, I'm, I got a little running gratitude list, but I also feel like I, I, want, I want to be doing other things. You want show. to do more? Yeah. What do you want to do? Let's talk about it. I feel like I can do therapy now. I just did it. Okay. I really want to do, like, ball and cup. <laughs> I don't, do you think you're ready? I don't, I don't know if I have what it takes. Uh, yeah, I, I would say let's I start don't have smaller. Ball. I don't have cup. <laughs> let's, for you, let's just start with just cup. <laughs> yeah. Just to get Therapist, the fundamentals prescribe down. Prescribe this. Yeah. I'm working my way up. I, you know, what's funny is I saw an, a woman like in her 50s. I talked with her for a little bit, a little too long, honestly. Hot. And. She kept saying something that like blew my mind. I feel like I haven't heard an adult say this so frequently in like a span of a few minutes. But she just kept saying like, "I'm just really bored." Yeah, I just came over here. I'm bored. Where was she at the store? Yeah, and I'm boy, I thought I would check something. I'm just in town. And I'm just bored, you know. And I'm like, I mean, you're, you know, you're old. And you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and it's also like you can't be bored, even if you are bored. Which is dumb. Yeah. What what what's say, what's talking about it gonna get you? Yeah. Okay. Let's get to the bottom of this. Sorry I don't have my ball and cup right now. Right. Otherwise. Get a few people, we'll get a game of Red Rover going. Do you want to watch some of the most famous comedians do comedy? <laughs> you can do that if you want. Otherwise yeah. you go to a different place that does a different thing. Yeah, just bored. It's it was the weirdest thing. I've never I don't think I've seen anyone say that. Yeah, that's like, a kid when's the thing. last time you've you heard... do that when and, and kids can get bored because they don't have a car. They're restricted. <laughs> yeah, or There's, a phone. Yeah, they can't do drugs. Yeah, we can do drugs. Mm -hmm. And you should love to be bored at our age. Oh yeah. my god, just sitting on the bed. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Go to your hotel, lady. Be bored in there. Be bored for a second. Weed. Just have weed. Have it. Take it. Put it in you. <laughs> get. Like you can eat it, you can smoke. There's so many ways to do get, it. Get like confused about the things that bore you. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah uh, that's sad. Yeah, it was a bummer. I, you know, what I do when I'm bored. I go to my favorite fucking place, Hesby Street. No, Jones of Hollywood. Jones of Hollywood. You get a pizza at 10:30 at night. Mm -hmm. I get a tequila soda. That's right. And I talk shit to people. Yeah. And everybody knows my name. And you wear that hat. I dress like a fucking Cuban cigar maker. <laughs> I can't believe that hat's stain on your head. I don't know how it's It looks like it's going to fall off. It kind of looks like a halo. Whoa. Yeah. Easter just happened. Damn, I am risen. Mm -hmm. You know what they don't talk about? What? Jesus. Kind of like the original Nepo baby. Why? Because it was just all about his dad. His dad got him the gig. Yeah. He was crucified, though. 
Yeah, because because back then you couldn't be a nepo baby. We didn't stand for it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we like, were right. We don't give world. a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them up there. Uh, which one should we kill? How about the son of God? <laughs> Anyone sick of that guy? <laughs> there was a uh, a, a t- there's like a fancy name for it, but it was like some meeting in like the 1300s or some shit where they were just like, all right, we got to like plan all this shit. And this is where, like, they kind of decided everything. They're like, this is Easter. They're, like, mm. going through the info they have. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We're doing that. There's three, but it's one. Like, all that stuff was just decided. Mm-hmm. And it just seems like the most coked out, like, movie writing. Fucking, like, like strings okay, okay, on okay, the okay, wall. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, we put his birthday around... The winter solstice, yep. right? Because yep. it's it's cold and like we're going into winter, so people need like something to cheer them up. I'm just picturing Matthew McConaughey, like from True Detective, just looking cracked out, smoking. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay, and that's good, or that's we need something else. No, that's seamless. Good Friday. Let's not do meat. Okay, but you can do like uh, there ain't. We don't have a ton of meat. We got to figure out a way that like right. God wants that to happen. <clears throat> Okay, so what do they eat instead? Fish. Oh, so that okay, yeah, then that's totally chill. F- is fish meat? Are we uh, deciding? No, no, I guess not. Fish it's is fish. different. Yeah. Right? Okay. Cool. Cool. Because meat's got like a meat smiles. Okay, and so what is Good Friday? Good Friday is you just chill off the meat for a minute, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that even what it is? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you don't know Good Friday? Uh. Uh-uh. It's the day Jesus died. He died on Good Friday? Yeah, and then he rises on Easter three days later. I thought you were the Catholic. It's like Bad Friday. No, because it's good for us. It's bad for him. Oh, because he died for our sins. That was another one they decided, I think. Yeah. Like, he died for our sins. That wasn't in the Bible? Well, I think they were putting the Bible together, Oh, they too. were just writing the Bible? They were just going... A thousand years later? Oh, yeah, dude. The first like things Damn. didn't happen until like, hundreds of years later, or like over 100 years you after. You can't get away with that now. No. We can't just write a Bible. I tried. Uh, is there a book for Scientology? Uh-huh. Wrote that. Yeah, but even that feels like... Mormon. They just wing that one. Yeah, but I feel like the internet's kind of ruined it. Now, if you write any kind of thing, you're just a... Cons- crazy person. Crazy person. I mean, that's what Jesus was. He's cr- that's true. There are these weird commercials for Jesus. Are you seeing those yeah, a lot? It's why? like during the Super Bowl. Like we're forgetting about Jesus? <laughs> like, oh yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Where can I buy that? <laughs> honey, honey. <laughs> Remember Jesus? <laughs> Dude, we got to like Who are the see other that? two? <laughs> Who are the other two? Now, start, now you got me thinking. Now you got me thinking about it. <laughs> Speaking of Jones, I'm a bad husband, dude. This is I'm a terrible husband. So we're done with Easter? I mean, we can keep going. No, no, no. Bad husband of Jones. What'd you do to your wife? Well, I, I just love the place so much. You love Jones more than you love your wife I'm sometimes? I'm starting to realize. <laughs> yeah. It's not okay. It's not. We were there, and uh, she doesn't go as much as I do. Of course. They don't really recognize. No one goes <laughs> as much as you do. They don't really recognize her, you uh-huh. know? So I'm standing near an area where, like, you're not supposed to stand. Mm-hmm. Not realizing. I'm yep. just kind of like hanging over into the, the, server the servers zone. go. Yeah. And then I go to the bathroom and she stands up. She says she stood up and stands right where I stand. She gets yelled at. <laughs> she gets yelled at by the bartender. And she's like, I'm like f- almost crying. Like, like I'm like, don't cry. Don't ruin Jones for me. Don't. You've picked Jones over no, no, her no. now. Her, her telling me this experience, she's telling herself, don't cry. Just don't, you know what I mean? But because he just came in so hot Mm -hmm. and I come back and she like tells me that or maybe she told me the day after and I'm like, he's probably having a weird day. You took his side. And she's just like, I mean, I've never been talked to like, I'm like, yeah, it just gets so hard (laughs) behind the bar. (laughs) She's like, protect me. Yeah. Husband. Uh, Yeah. 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 I'm like, there's a solution to this. You you just got to not stand in the server zone yeah. is all that it's, it is. There's a rule. It's really a liability <laughs> issue. <laughs> Someone could get hurt. Someone has gotten hurt, probably. Yeah. I'm assuming. I'm, uh, that's the only reason why I think they would yell like that. Why I've else? been yelled at. 
I get yelled at. That's what I do. Yeah. They yell at me all the time. You get yelled at now next time they know. How else would you remember? Until you've been yelled at. Yeah. So you got to think about their responsibilities. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he personally doesn't care if you stand there. He's forgotten all about you because <laughs> you're so unmemorable. <laughs> I'm like, honey, you get yelled at. It's part of it. It's part of it. Don't take Jones from me. No, don't, dude. Don't I'm take a, I'm my on, midnight I, pizzas. I'm a little upset with you, too. I know. I'm you got to go husband. back and you got to fight this man. I got to fight him? Yeah, I think so. Catch. Mm-hmm. It's a woman. Okay, you got to run your mouth to her. <laughs> I got to fight her. Yeah. Was it a woman? <laughs> no, nah, it was a man. You got to run your mouth to him. Yeah. And then if he escalates, then you got to fight him. Damn. For your wife's honor. But I, I officially can't go back there. That's what you realize that means. I have to find a new place to eat midnight pizzas. Well, don't say crazy things. I know. <laughs> we got to still go back to Jones. That's it's too good I'm of a saying. place. You start to realize how expendable your partner in life is. <laughs> <laughs> you hear these hy- hypotheticals, a million dollars. I'm not leaving her for a million dollars. He's worth way more than a million dollars. Exactly. And then one, one bad night at a restaurant that you love. Honey. Let's find a way where we can all come out of yeah. this. There's got to be it. Marriage is about compromise. It's not ultimatums. I'll tell you that. <laughs> don't put me. Don't draw a line in that sand. You ready to end it on banger? Are we? Are we? Is it that time? We're getting there. Okay. Do you have a good one? No, I'm out. You're tapped. I had my therapy thing. Easter was weird this year. Did you celebrate Easter as a kid? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we celebrated it a big as a kid. And yeah. I realized that I don't celebrate it at all. I did, I forgot to call my family. Right. It used to be like at least... Yeah, we'd do dinner. Yeah, we'd do the Easter egg hunt. we'd go to church. I stopped going to church because I felt like it was taking too much away from the... The dinner. F- the focus on the, the bunny that hides chocolate eggs. You know how I feel about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a, how do you feel? I'm a huge chocolate bunny guy. Are you? I'm a huge Santa guy. You would get the hollow chocolate keep, bunny? Keep Jesus out of our holidays. Yeah. Good for big chocolate. Oh, big chocolate. Can we give them a shout out for just lining up with a religion? That's pretty smart. It's fucking brilliant. Yeah. We got to do that. Okay. Which which religion? Because we'll we'll, Catholics tapped. All right. Instead of <clears throat> Hesby Street, we're called uh, the road most traveled on the pilgrimage to Mecca. Street. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're changing. Okay. And we're fine. Can't we just be Mecca Street? Mecca Street. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh huh. And then we start convincing people to to tune in to are we us going five to, times a day. Are we going into choc are we gonna try to align ourselves with chocolate or just religion? I personally would love to get chocolate involved on this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, can we get both? <laughs> can we get if we could get chocolate on the horn, I am for it. <laughs> As you might understand, Hesbos, chocolate is... If any of you are in any way affiliated with big chocolate, it could be dark or milk. If you have not I'm, white, I'm willing to offer darker milk. A free prefer dark, quite honestly. You're not going white. No, I'm not going white. Darker milk. Dark or milk? Yeah. Dark is out. Why is dark out? Milk or white? You love white chocolate over dark? I mean, dark. We're gonna have to get big sea salt in <laughs> for a second. <laughs> That's a good just point. going straight dark, dude. Yeah, we will need sea salt. Maybe sea some salt's caramel. like not so fast <laughs> dark chocolate. You ain't going this oh, I alone. Noticed, oh, you put pen to paper with uh, dark chocolate? <laughs> well, well, well. So it's already the ink's already dry. I guess you sounds gonna... like you've lost a little thing called leverage. <laughs> good luck being scrumptious without the perfect saltiness to balance out. <laughs> the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Yeah. It's 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 the equivalent of big fat <laughs> just trying to go it alone without big acid <laughs> cutting through the fat. I love when people say acid to cut through it, the, uh, the fat. Cut uh, through it. Is that a culinary thing? It's a culinary thing. You got to like, use acid to that, cut that, through the fat. Yeah, to cut through it. And I'm like, I'm getting acid. <laughs> I'm getting fat. I don't know if there's anything being cut through. <laughs> Yeah, that I start to picture like the acid that made the Joker who he is, like literally burning through the fat. <laughs> so I was like, it's cut through. Yeah, my tongue is like, it's mush. Oh, you meant like citrus acid. Okay. I use. Okay. okay. It's going to be a funny story that I will never be able to tell. 
<laughs> without my hands. <laughs> Yeah, dude, big chocolate's got to get involved. No, I think we could go like um, big pizza, ooh, more accessible. Big bread, big cheese, big tomato sauce. Speaking my language, <laughs> dude, I actually know someone at Big Tomato Sauce. <laughs> Do you think? It, because I'm thinking you might be aiming a little high. No, I'm going to the big top. pizza. But I'm thinking maybe we go with a, a cult classic favorite, but a little more artisanal. Okay, big gnocchi. Big gnocchi? You it know? just seems so labor intensive. <laughs> yeah, but that's when you only have the numbers we have, you got to put in more work. Big gnocchi. I mean, those guys are doing work. <laughs> doing work, but they're loyal. All right. I'm in. Mm-hmm. I-, I am throwing all logic out the window, <laughs> clearly, because we are now Mecca Street, right? We're an Islamic based <laughs> podcast yeah. that is a somehow. I mean, the collab of the century. <laughs> With a potato pasta <laughs> from the southern shores of Italia. We are shrinking the Mediterranean <laughs> Sea. <laughs> we have leapfrogged big chocolate because we couldn't come to terms on inviting big white, big milk, and sea salt. Boxed us out. We had to take that loss on dark chocolate. It is a relative Game of Thrones going on right now for the collab with Hesby Street. Yeah. Mecca Street. Mecca Street. Excuse me. It's going to take some getting used to. So will the gnocchi intake. (laughs) You're going to be at your next therapy session. They're like, are you eating right? You're like, I can't afford to eat right. (laughs) Define right. Listen up, Hezbos. Stick with us. This is a transition period. You meckos. <laughs> and it's going to be bumpy. It's gonna. There's going to be some weird decisions and risks taken. Absolutely. But I promise you this. Gnocchi will be served. <laughs> the gnocchi will be perfect. The content, I'm not so sure about. Look, there's going to be issues. Women's rights. <laughs> the ability to show hair. Yeah. But we're going to be distracting you with sweet potato gnocchi. (laughs) Regular potato gnocchi. (laughs) Brown butter. Sage. Maybe a a purple potato gnocchi. To make it fun. gnocchi. Beets could get involved if you want it to. If you want. Um, They're doing anything you want to a cauliflower now. (laughs) They're doing just about anything you can imagine. Cauliflower will take what it will. It takes it. Cauliflower is game. Cauliflower is it's ready. It's the sluttiest of vegetables, <laughs> man. Dude, I will be whatever the fuck you want. Step on my balls. Bleed all over me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> pure, pure. Yeah, we're Poor we're cauliflower. we're not getting cauliflower involved. No, we can't. No, they're scoundrels. No, they all they stand for nothing, and they're they're not a good character guy. No. Yeah. No. They get in there, and it's like they're cancer. They do nothing. They do nothing. Nothing. They're lost without fat and <laughs> something to cut through it. <laughs> Whether it's knife, acid, <laughs> fire. <sighs> big cauliflower, big chocolate. Mushroom's killing it right now. Oh, I feel mushroom's like doing well. Mushroom doesn't get enough credit. Yeah. What are they making bread out of now? Have you seen like uh, just ground chicken that they turn into pizza crust? <laughs> That's stupid. That's impressive. Don't do that. That's no, impressive. Don't do that. Why not? It's dumb. You know what's dumb is just mushroom aesthetic. Because mushrooms are so fascinating. Mm-hmm. But then the person that's talking just has like a purple tie dye shirt with like Cheech and Chong eyes being like, whoa, mushroom came from Earth? Much? And yeah. you're like, what even is the joke? <laughs> the joke here? What do you What do you mean? What's the joke? <laughs> like, what? Mushroom came from Earth. Much. <laughs> I get it. I'm, I'm like, I super get that. I see. I see. Every time they're the most brilliant people, and then it shows what they're wearing, and I go, why? Why that? Mm-hmm. And it's like you can see stars on mushrooms, man. You can feel them too. <laughs> and it's just a tie dye going. Yeah. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And then it cuts to like a doctor that's just like, okay, yeah, that, but also like it can actually help with mental illness. The doctor's like, you see why I'm prescribing Xanax? <laughs> I can't work with these. I'm a doctor. 
This guy doesn't wear socks. Or shoes. <laughs> or shoes. It's just like hobbit feet. It looks swollen to a point that does not seem okay. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. It was man-made with shoes. Sure, dude. Yeah. I'm all right, sure man. you're right. Okay, so can I leave? Or... <laughs> <laughs> this is your therapy team? You're like, no, I want to bring in my mushroom guy. <laughs> and he's like, Torio told me your sessions have been far out. I didn't say far out, but yeah, they've been wild. And groovy. Okay, man. I mean, it's a little dated nomenclature, but sure. <laughs> yeah, but also like tune in, tune out, let go. Okay. Like God. All right. And then uh, see you on the other side. Okay. Open your third eye. All right. <laughs> Eat right. Get Wait a, a minute. <laughs> <Sleep>. <laughs> Breathing exercises. Oh, right. Okay, I see. You know, she did. You talk to Linda. You know what I do? I say I'm grateful for mushrooms. What are you grateful for, Linda? And I want to know, man. Also mushrooms, but a different kind. <laughs> what kind? I like the ones you can eat. Yeah, you can eat them all, man. No, it's but just like some on make a you pizza. Die. <laughs> <laughs> but you can eat it. <laughs> Would you, if you were stuck in the uh, wilderness? Uh huh. When. I'm stuck yeah. in the wilderness. Yeah, it's happened a few times. No, when I am. Yeah. Do you, um, would you eat a berry or would you be worried? Because, like, remember the dude from Into the Wild ate the wrong berry, died. Right. Would you, at what point would you risk, risk it? Or do you think you can tell to some degree? I would, I'd try to catch enough, like, watch another animal uh, eat. I'd probably eat the berry too soon. I'd, I'd watch the animal eat it. Too. Can't they be like immune to it and not us? Yeah, that's the problem. I'll, I'll watch them eat it and I'm like, that deer seems okay. <laughs> I'm like, mmm. Bitterly tart. <laughs> and I'm just chewing it. I look over Can the you deer. get mange this fast? <laughs> the, deer's, the deer's eating poison oak and I'm like, well, that's not convincing. <laughs> uh, I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> huh. I can't even have the ticks it has, can I? <laughs> the deer's just like cross-eyed, yeah, like walking into a river. <laughs> He's like, the deer is just like, you know, before I go, I'm going to eat that berry finally. <laughs> yeah. This guy's watching me, isn't he? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Yeah. I, don't, I got nothing to live for, man. <laughs> don't do what I do. <laughs> don't be like me. The deer's just like, you don't want this life. <laughs> <sighs> All right. You good? I'm I'm good. I think we delivered on a lot of fronts. We did. We did. Um, can't even think of the first one we did. Therapy. Therapized. We did the other joke. I'm a bad husband. You're a bad husband. Cool hat. I got a cool hat. There was a dead deer at some point. We did that one for you. The cool hat. Yeah. Pretty good episode. We thank bad friends. Bad friends. Thank you. We but think. now it's kind of like, what else can they do for us? <clears throat> yeah, they gave us an inch. Now we need a mile. Yeah. I texted. Uh, so I opened for Santino like four years ago. Oh, cool. And he gave me his phone number. I never use it. But you know, when I get headliners phone numbers, it's like, you don't yeah. know what to do. All right. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to text him and thank him. Yeah. Because that is like cool. And I texted him. And then I, as soon as I hit send, I had the immediate anxiety. Of him just being like, God damn it. Because he had to go through so much to get us paid. Right. And I was like, now someone's just fucking texting me. Uh -huh. I just want this to be done. Yeah, right, right, right. Thank me on your socials. Yeah, I just whatever. <laughs> but he texted back and he was cool about it. So I do love them both. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's All right, that's great. it. Or it's just he changed his number and some guy's like, Cool, have, man. I don't have the heart to tell him. Yeah. He's You're like, welcome, kiddo. <laughs> we'll see you out there. It's just some guy. Fucking <laughs> watching TV at home. <laughs> Wow. Another Santino message. Another. Well, you know what? I'll just be him. <laughs> I just have to at this point. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining. Yeah. And then you're like, would love to open for you sometime. And he's like, well, now I'm in it. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Okay. He doesn't even know he's a comedian. He's like, okay, yeah, bring your guitar he's <laughs> <laughs> to uh, wherever I'm at next. Yeah. <laughs> Are you at the same cafe in northern Thailand still? <laughs> Because that's they're still doing karaoke. 